Hey, what's up, people? What's poppin'? This is Tiffany. We are back. You know, I haven't been giving you guys an update with this uh, Tabo Besta situation because I'm sick and tired of hearing about Tabo Besta. I know I had... Uh, I know I had made an episode when it was face training, but now I feel like, you know, everybody's well aware of what's really going on right now. And in my opinion, I feel like this whole story is being overly exaggerated. Uh, yesterday, they actually buried the boy uh, from uh, Mangaung, I believe. Oh, sorry. I think I had something. Who was actually part of the people that were caught up in the mix. Uh, you know, the, the father was telling the story. And I'm like, I don't understand where are these parents when the kids really need them. You know, you were not there when your son was going through a lot. You know, apparently, rumor has it that that boy was really going through some some things, you know. And, you know, people actually take advantage of the whole situation when, you know, they prey on people that actually need help. Not that, not that we're trying to blame this on you, but I feel like, you know, people try to fight more, you know, when people are gone. It's too late. It's like, really, why, why are you fighting right now? You're fighting for justice. Okay, that's fine. You would have fought way much better while the kid was still alive. You know, it's been, you know, I'm not, I'm not even trying to disrespect anybody. I'm not even trying to, to go there. But it just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me for, for things like this to happen. But so I'm not going to it's just insane for me. But let's talk about this Sims get, Sims uh, situation. Sims is entangled in this whole situation. And I felt like she made it worse by making the statement. There could be so many reasons that uh, she was one of the visitors that were actually seeing Tawabesta go, go present. Okay? Because you know that there was some, uh, when they do the records, when they were uh, doing the records of people who actually visited, they thought that it was that rich lady from KZN. They thought it was her, but you know, unfortunately it was not her. Uh, she was able to come clean up. Well, she didn't. She didn't even, even have to make a statement about it because she know that she had a, a, a good publicity team. It's, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of big team behind her. She wouldn't, even though it was just a rumor, she wouldn't come out and say something like that to stir the fire. But with her, she was so stupid. I'm serious right now that if she wouldn't have made this statement. The whole situation was not even going to lead into any sort of like investigation or anything. The fact that she came out and made this horrible statement as a PI, uh, a, a stunt that he, he's trying to do to clean up the whole mess. That's just her admitting to the fact that she was actually involved. She went and seen this person. You know, anybody that gets entangled with this gentleman, you know, there got to be something behind the whole thing. So it's like, you're so stupid. That's so stupid. Even if, let me, let me just say, even if you did not go there with the intentions or with the bad intentions, maybe you went there as a friend. You probably didn't even know what's going on with Pilon Baha'i. Maybe you knew that he was arrested for this and this. And really, you just went to see him as a friend. You know, you don't know if he was actually planning to do these things behind uh, behind the closed doors without you knowing, okay? You might be innocent, but the fact that you made the statement and then you retracted the statement, you deleted everything, it's like, what are you doing? What are you, uh, th th what are you hiding? What are you hiding? Now you're calling the feds on you. That's what you're doing. So the whole situation, yeah, it's like, it's just like, it's, it's a lot of people that are coming up, you know, it's a lot of people that are coming forward right now because of the whole situation. The guy who was actually the cameraman who was promised 2.5 million and apparently he was only given 40,000. I mean, listen, y'all, this is, this is like, like I told you, like a lot of people are going to be arrested for this. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot. And I'm sick and tired of always of hearing about this lady. The lady has the audacity to apply for the freaking uh, a bail. And the lawyers are pulling out of the, the case. The, the, lawyer, the first lawyer is not longer part of the case. And it's like, how complicated can this be? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. But listen, I, I think, honestly, I think it's probably my last update I give about this type of best situation. I'm not even going to entangle myself in the situation. But thank you very much. 
Uh, I just felt like Sims. I just want to talk about Sims because I felt like she was just stupid. Like she was really, really stupid for doing that. Like this is stupidity at its highest level. But thank you very much. Hit the subscribe, hit the like to support your boy. I will see you guys next time with another video. I got to go now. Peace out.